I think well, that's what's fantastic about working in fashion rather than working in other sectors is that it thrives on newness. So you're allowed to push the envelope just a bit more. Hmm. The, you know, I, I wouldn't say that I was a rebel. I, I, I was just, um, you know, intent on doing my own thing, really. And um, so I, I've, I've been through a few careers which have involved um, music business. Uh, I've played bass guitar you know, professionally. I have coloured in cartoons um, when you used to colour them in by hand before the digital era. I have um, been involved in the nightclub business, which was um, great because it left your whole day free to do other things, of which um, making things became my career as a result. So I had, you know, I, I worked at night in, in clubs and I made things in the day and then people started buying them. And that's how I'm now a designer. In fact, that's the way that Joseph, um, I met Joseph actually, because he wanted some things in his window. So it's kind of a back, back to my roots. Really. Yeah, well, Joseph has always had a, like a really strong identity, which is very black and white. And you know, it's always tempting to kind of say, all right, we're going to change all of that and make it super colourful or, or very busy or the rest of it. But those are, are the kind of values that Joseph stands for. And uh, given that, that Joseph selects things which evolve very rapidly and could be colourful or crazy or sensible, that the job of the architect in the stores, I think, should be about providing a good backdrop for that. You know, it's a blank canvas, and we were allowed by Joseph, which is unique, to do something which we wanted to do, which was to just go in and be very not Bond Street, you know. So you're, you're surrounded there by all kinds of very slick and very refined, mainly Italian and, and French firms, you know, bronzed mirrors and brass, you know, brass cases and very intense lighting and, and people are all doing very similar things and we wanted to do something which sort of challenged that. So what I've tried to do is just to move the thing forward a bit. I think the, the minimalist aspect that Joseph used to have is still very legitimate but it's something that's been copied widely. So what we tried to do was to maintain very much the monochrome aspect but to bring in texture. So the shop now that we've done in Bond Street is um, full of really quite intense texture and, and relief. And most of the materials are also very honest in their natural state. So you've got galvanized metal, raw aluminium, burnt wood and inflatable dressing rooms and plaster in its original state. There's concrete floors that are in concrete color. Even the mirrors are, are quite interesting. You know, we've got a huge mirror made out of mylar, which is super re re reflective. It can give you a mirror bigger than, than uh, the conventional glass mirrors, for instance. So um, we're as much as possible trying to, to find new ways of expressing the black and whiteness that Joseph has always stood for, whilst moving it forward to incorporate a new level of um, honesty, maybe. Rather than other decorators and designers might have a fixed style, what I like is the opportunity of doing different, um, you know, a journey through a space so that you get different atmospheres. And, you know, if, if I look at what we tried to do at Joseph, I mean, there's three spaces which are very clear to me, and I've tried to uh, make the initial corridor even more corridor like, you know, then coming out into a large white queue which previously was a quite constrained space. We've knocked out a load of walls and, and, and made it as cube-like as possible. And then going downstairs to have something which is a bit more salon, kind of like um, where you get more service and, and you can linger longer, but slightly more comfortable space downstairs. So for me, it's important to have, you know, just like in a ghost train or something, a series of, of different events that happen in your building. I think fashion's great because it has to evolve to be fashion, right? Newness in the architecture, you know, newness in, in a brand that they know quite well, but that, that is evolving, and newness in the clothes as well. So that, you know, what interests me is, is, um, is things that you haven't seen before, right? And I, I would hope they'd walk out saying, well, boy, I've not seen that before. <laughs>